Common Ground Farm is a special piece of the fresh food community in DeLand, Florida. Owners and farmers John and Pat started their humble little farm in 2009, and it has since grown into something that transcends just a simple place for growing vegetables. Their farm store provides a space for many other small businesses to more easily sell their local goods from farm produce to soaps to farm fresh eggs to microgreens. They've also placed great importance on fostering a space for education on the farm, allowing CSA members to learn and work for their food shares, in addition to the woofers like me who come from far and wide to get a taste of the Florida farming experience. On that note, they've created a charming space for woofers that left me feeling right at home with a beautiful campsite to rest in the breeze of the greenhouse fans. Made complete with a beautiful path by the goat friends to outdoor showers and bathrooms. I'll not only be sharing a bit of the woofing experience here in Florida, but also what the farming practices look like in this unique ecological terrain. As always, I'll take you from farm to table, sharing the nourishing meals that can be made from this farm fresh goodness. All the while giving insight and inspiration for the total wellness that comes with homegrown organic produce and the nourishing meals they create. What do you say? Let's get our hands in the dirt. Rising in the dark with the goats was infinitely worth these sunrises in the field, which honestly had me excited to get to work each day. It didn't take long before I finally felt right at home on the east coast, between rows of fresh food. Nothing had me feeling more in my place than harvesting insane amounts of kale, although this winter burrow kale variety was a rather massive reminder that I wasn't growing in Arizona anymore. I would harvest an awesome variety of food throughout my stay on the farm and also have the pleasure of seeing them transform into a delicious selection of farm fresh meals in the kitchen. means you get to meet lots of other friends along the way too. Whatever didn't make it into the compost was tossed to the garbage disposal that was the horde of goats next door. They come running, they know. Nasty kill, creme de la crop. Come here. <gasps> Whoa, aggression. You want some? Here, do you want to take the whole thing? That's all you. Yum. <laughs> oh my god, that's so stinking cute. He's like, ooh, late to the party, let's get it. <laughs> Eating with gusto. Garden scraps to these cuties was a true treat to the end of each day. 
and it became a daily occurrence that really never got old. And even though goats can be pretty cold-hearted, I can't say I didn't strike a real relationship with sweethearts like Bernadette here. Florida may be a lush, planty wonderland, but it still presents a host of challenges for farming food. We think moisture-rich air is all a plant could ever want, but Florida's humidity also means disease hits hard. Not to mention if you stand still long enough around here, you'll also understand that bugs can be a nuisance for both humans and the crops. They say they share 20% of the food with the bugs, still a worthy cost for keeping the veggies and our bodies pesticide free. In my Florida travels, I noticed the sandy soils persisted even as I wandered inland, and the farmers explained that Florida is just a sandbar. On the farm, this translates into water, nutrients, and organic matter more easily seeping out of the soil, making farming in the ground a bit more difficult. But that wasn't for lack of trying on the part of the farm. In the beginning, they put four truckloads of mushroom compost in their beds, only to watch it seep out in vain. Yet another perceived advantage? the lack of freezing temperatures in Florida, which allow harmful nematodes to thrive in warm soils. Common ground farm solution is farming in containers. This practice uses a lot less water and plant food, all while making it easier to control weeds. It also allows them to take advantage of vertical space and keep the food further from dirt and bugs. I felt so at home on the farm, it was hard to leave, but I still got a little exploration in when some awesome fellow woofers invited me to tag along for foodie adventures around the land. I got to relive my first blueberry season from last summer in Oregon in the Florida springtime at a nearby blueberry farm. The blueberry bushes sport a rainbow of berries varying in ripeness, which is honestly just breathtaking. fingertips collected quite the bounty of fresh blueberries, enough for Pat to bake up a seriously delicious vegan blueberry cobbler. While it's fun revisiting some of my favorite crops from past foodie adventures, I really value the ability to work with what I've never grown before, especially if I've used it a lot in the kitchen. As you may have gathered from my various shrieks of wonder, these are some of my favorite ingredients, turmeric and ginger. It was a highlight of my farm stay to experience a little bit of this root farming, and while other parts of the country are sowing the first seeds of spring, Florida's growing season is winding down for the hot buggy season that is summer. Not the greatest condition to be growing organic veggies. I spent a lot of time on the farm putting the pots to bed for the season and plugging up the irrigation, but often that still means there's still one last beautiful harvest to enjoy. Common 
ground has enjoyed a less buggy season than usual, so I still lucked out and got to sow one last squash row where ordinarily the pots would have been put to bed. As a community garden raised green thumb, I always value the ability to see efficiency on a larger scale. These easier means of washing and processing produce can be adapted to any size food forest. The days on the farm flew by working with gorgeous produce and with plenty of animals to love nearby. And as my final days dwindled, I decided to take advantage of the full-size kitchen with a fellow woofer, who conspired to create vegan fried chicken style sliders made with Pat's amazing homemade bread and some local sprouts from the farm store. This led to yet another adventure to gather the last ingredient at my new favorite farmer's market in Florida. These delicious gourmet mushrooms tasted heavenly, yet still sinful as the base for our creation. Thanks to one of many amazing small businesses from the Winter Park Farmer's Market. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for giving me the opportunity to inspire your health and spirit with fresh air and food. Send that love back my way in the form of likes, shares, and comments to help my own small business grow into something greater for the health of the planet and her people. Everybody can sit together and have cake. Yes! Oh, I love that. Exactly. Right?